Hi everybody, it's your girl Chanel with Girl Talk Tarot. Welcome to my channel, you guys. More importantly, welcome to your reading. So this is a pick a card reading. Is he or she faithful to me? Please believe me, I do understand that this is a very emotionally charged reading. So I will do my best to address this message with, you know, positivity, love, but also realness. Because, um, you guys... I did feel a little bit uncomfortable when thinking about doing this reading, so I actually used a pendulum just to clarify with spirit that it's okay to actually do this reading, and the answer is yes. So there's definitely a message here that somebody here really needs to hear. So with that being said, I do ask that you remove any fears and just allow the message to come through. So we have group one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and pick a pile, you guys, whatever pile is calling out to you. I'll go ahead and be quiet and allow you to pick in peace. All right, you guys, I do hope that was enough time. If it wasn't, don't worry about it. Just pause the video, take your time. Please take your time, but also don't overthink it. So the timestamp will be um, in the description or the comments, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace out. Hi, group one, welcome to your reading. So you guys, this is, as you already know, pick a card reading, is he or she faithful to me? Um, what I do want to say before we get started is I do not recommend that you watch this video if everything is going wonderfully in your relationship and you have no in intuition or feelings of this person being unfaithful to you. This reading is for those who already feel something and spirit just wants to confirm either yes or no and then give a little bit of a message here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off by identifying this person. Now, the things that come out here, you guys, um, this is going to be for those who especially need to hear this message. I'm going to find some things to identify this person. Let me help us identify this person here. All right, you guys, let's take a look at the initials. We have the letter R. We have the letter S and the letter W. Um, we have the turtle. So you guys, for some of you, this person's name may start with the letter R, S, or W. This could also be the initial of a last name. This per person could be quite a laid back person, likes to do things slowly according to his or her own time. Um, we have long hair coming through here. We have honest. Wow. So this person, at least for the majority of you guys, is definitely someone who's naturally an honest person. Lying and anything like that is not of this person's nature. We have rich. So for some of you guys, this person has um, a lot of money. We have... Okay, we have an average stick coming through here. So yeah, you know, wasn't expecting anything like that to come out. But yeah, that has to do with his body parts, his private parts, you know, average size here. We have very sexy. So this is someone who's very attractive. Very, very, very attractive. And we have white or gray hair so please keep in mind that these this is obviously not going to describe everybody that this reading is for but these are just like the extra um uh how do i say like th this has a little bit of extra significance for somebody here who these descriptions do apply to that's what i'm trying to say here all right you guys let's let's keep going we're gonna move these up here rsw their turtle also with the turtle this person can actually have a turtle own a turtle just love turtles or work you know i don't know 
All right, group one, is this person faithful to me? Let's go ahead and get into it. So this first group of cards here, group one, um, actually it's just one card. So I was shuffling while I was shuffling this deck. I had the question in my mind, is this person faithful to me? I have not seen these cards. So let's go ahead and look at the answer. We have meditation brings answers. So we didn't get a direct yes or no. We'll have to rely on these other cards to get that answer. So we'll keep this in mind though. Let's go ahead and take a look at the story here, group one. We have the king of swords coming through here. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. We also have the three of coins and the world, beautiful. So it looks like whoever you're dealing with here is definitely someone who hustles. This person works really hard. Um, this person may even work two or three jobs or have a few different income streams, something like that. This is someone who's very intelligent, very wise. For some of you, this person may in fact have brown skin. There's also fair skin here. But it just looks like this person is very smart and knows how to conduct business and do work or works really hard. We also have the world showing up here. So for some of you, there could be some distance involved with this person. Um, let's take a look here. We have some intimacy. We have sneaky lies and secrets. Blended step parents. The gym. Naked. And the ghost. All right, group one. So it looks like some of you guys are dealing with someone who is not around very often. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's just, um, this person could be, we do have sneaky lies and secrets. And so I feel like that's probably why you already have this, um, feeling that something is wrong because you don't believe this person when they say they're going somewhere. You don't trust that they're going where they say they're going. Um, as locations here, there is actually, sorry for that shake. The gym did show up. So if somebody is saying that they're going to the gym, then it's quite possible that they actually are going to the gym. I do see a lot of sex here. So then, you know, uh, please use your own discernment, group one. If there's not a lot of sex and intimacy between the two of you, then this can in fact be with someone else. But I just feel like I mean, for this, you'll have to use your own discernment. If if you guys are, in fact, intimate with one another and the issue is that this person is always gone, you don't really have the time with this person, then more than likely this person is, is in fact, faithful to you. I do see that there is, like, this sense of a family here. Perhaps you guys um, are a blended family, maybe step-parents, or someone is a step-parent. But there is a sense that there are children involved for some of you guys. Okay, let's take a look. What else is showing up here? We have this could be the one. Release your ex. And passion. So that passion is very strong here with this group. Very, very, very strong. A lot of intimacy, a lot of sex, a lot of lust and attraction. Some of you guys have gone through something in the past, possibly with this person, maybe even in a different relationship. And so, you know, there could be some trust issues here because of something that has happened in the past, because of feeling betrayed from someone from your past, either an ex or even this person that you're in a relationship with. But yeah, this definitely looks like this is a good person for you. This looks like someone who you're definitely supposed to be with, at least at this time. We have teacher coming through, planning and action, and hidden motivations. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just feeling like something is missing. That's what I always get with this card here. It's like something is missing. And for most of you, I feel like it's time spent with this person. But it's also just like wanting, you know, to further this relationship, wanting to make it a little bit more official, wanting to make plans for the future. And it looks like that's something you guys are working on. There could be someone here who's studying, going to school, getting a degree. Um, 
something here where somebody is 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 in practice somebody is learning something but also you guys could be dealing with someone here who perceives himself or herself to be a little bit of a know-it-all and to always want to teach you something and you know be right about something we have the angel of strength coming through here so some of you may be dealing with the leo we have the woman holding a heart we have the sacral chakra of course the sacral chakra rules our sexuality and creativity we have the man holding a heart beautiful and we have an indecision. All right, so some of you guys definitely feel like you're at a crossroads with this person, not knowing what to do next, maybe not knowing where to go next, where to go from here. Um, there's some confusion here. There could be a very important decision that needs to be made within this relationship. But I think it's really interesting that you guys showed up here together, group one, as a unified couple. So even though there's this sense of these sneaky lies and secrets, it's not another woman or another man because that would have come through. I specifically asked to see certain cards and certain energies. So it only makes sense that you're watching this video because you do feel like something is not being, you know, all the way truthful. And that could be true, you guys, but it's it's not a matter of faithfulness. It's not a matter of there being another person. I'm feeling um, really strongly about that. So with that being said, it really does feel like this has to do with work, you guys. Career, finances. Um, but we can also pull a clarifying card for the sneaky lies and secrets and see if there's anything else that Spirit wants us to know about this energy. All right. So we did have two cards come through. We have the five of cups and the eight of cups so it looks like somebody here is probably already threatened to leave the relationship there's a lot of sadness and disappointment here with this person and but yeah again like i said this also just feels like a disappointment because somebody is always gone or somebody is always leaving it's like as soon as they come through the door they either don't have time for you or there's just this like oh i gotta go i gotta go do this i gotta go do that and so that's what i was feeling like this energy was about but where the person is going, they're being honest about where they're going. It just feels like it's a sneaky lie and a secret. Or if there is a, an actual secret, you guys, then please believe me, it's not something that spirit wants you to know about at this time. Otherwise, it would have come through here. And because of that, we do have to respect their privacy. Okay, but it's nothing for you to actually worry about. What we're going to do now, group one, is take a look here into any guidance or additional information from your angels angels please come through here for group one what is it that you want group one to know about as it pertains to this person in this relationship all right you're being advised to clear your space group one archangel jophiel wants you to get rid of any clutter archangel jophiel wants you to clear the energy maybe even use feng shui for those of you who know what that is but this is just the energy of you know getting your space together if things are cluttered around your house um make it nice clean up a little bit but even your emotional space you guys even your energetic space that needs to be um, cleared as well another message coming through here for you guys is clear cognizance so archangel euro wants you to pay attention to the thoughts any ideas that are actually coming to you because these are signs of answered prayers so that's your sense of knowing just knowing something and archangel uriel wants you to trust in your knowing and be clear that it's not your fear because a lot of times we confuse our intuition for fear and i feel like that's the purpose of this reading right here because your intuition is right as far as there being something you know um that doesn't feel right something that's just not right your intuition is absolutely right about that but at the same time doesn't mean that this person is not being faithful to you so it's a very interesting and very fine line, actually, between fear and um, intuition. Another message coming through for you, Group 1, is prioritize. So Archangel Metatron wants you to focus on your highest priorities. And he's letting you know that he's going to help you get organized and motivated. So this is all very good stuff, Group 1. There's nothing to worry about. Don't worry about whatever that other energy is here. Stay focused 
on your career, stay focused on your relationship, think positively and continue to be strong and courageous and just have this other sense of knowing that like your partner has your back. Your partner actually is quite an honest person, you guys. This person is honest by nature. So whatever it is that they're hiding from you, because um, there is something here that they're hiding, it, it doesn't have to do with another woman or another man, if that makes sense. So you guys, I do love you. I do hope this has um, brought some insight into your world. If it has, please consider giving it a thumbs up as it does help my channel to grow. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I do post pick a card readings every week and I post Zodiac readings every month. Okay, you guys, love you lots. Be blessed and I'll talk to you in a different video. Ciao. Hi, group two, welcome to your reading. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. You're here because you want to know if your partner is being faithful to you. Well, that's what we're going to discover here. Actually, before we get into that, you guys, I do want to um, say something. So this reading is really for those of you who already have a strong intuition or you're already just feeling like something isn't right. If your relationship is in fact in perfect condition and going well, this is not the reading for you. This is for those who have a strong urge to know if there's any dishonesty or anything like that. Also group two, I am going to pull some um, identifiers here and this is going to tell us a little bit about who this person is just to help you identify that this is the proper reading for you. Who is this person for group two? Who is this person here for group two? Who is this person here for group two? All right. So, with that being said, you guys, this will not describe everybody here, but this will be a message specifically for those who really need to hear it. Like almost like a clarifier so we have the letter e showing up here for some of you this person's name may start with the letter e we have the letter k and we have the letter a so first and last name initials coming through we have looks like a you probably can't even see it but this looks like a fairy and a fish so what i'm seeing here is for some of you guys this person um either has a lot of money or is very financially responsible or this person is just like or there could be you know issues regarding your or his or her finances this person may have pimples We have big lips for some of you. Wow, we have faithful. How incredible is that? Wow. And we also have buff coming through here. We have olive skin coming through here. That's the skin complexion. Remember not for, wow. <laughs> loyal. Can you believe that? Faithful and loyal, like seriously? Why are you guys even here? No, I'm just playing, I understand. Sometimes people, you know, have certain behaviors that just confuse you. It's like, dude, what's going on with you? Um, and we have hourglass. So this is this is the shape of the body, okay? Really amazing, um, voluptuous body shape for men and women. Normally for women, but hey, could be for a man too. All right, group two, we'll keep that in mind. These are their characteristics by nature at least for the majority of you, or for those who really need to hear this message. Let's go ahead and take a look into your story. So you guys, when I was um, pulling this first card here, oh, well, you guys have two cards. I was actually asking the question, you know, is he or she faithful to me? So I haven't seen these cards. We're gonna go through this pile together. First out is compromise. 
Next out is look for a sign. So we didn't get a direct answer just yet, but what we do see here is that there could be a situation within this relationship that requires somewhat of a compromise. Perhaps you guys are disagreeing about something quite important and there's a need for you guys to kind of meet each other halfway or meet each other in the middle. So we'll keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and pull. We have the Page of Wands coming through. Let me move these. Okay, we have the Page of Wands. I'm just going to pull the cards and then we'll talk about it. The Two of Coins. The Chariot. The Six of Swords. The Knight of Wands. And the Three of Wands. Wow, Group Two. So there's a lot of fire showing up here. I definitely see that there's an issue of control there could be somebody here excuse me there could be somebody here who really wants things done the way that they want them done and it's kind of you know putting in a little bit of a wedge or a conflict here we do have a fire sign showing up here so some of you may be inquiring about a fire sign such as aries leo sagittarius if not this is just someone who's very um driven very motivated a lot of energy a lot of passion a lot of lust there could be a lot of attraction that you have with this person. There also may be a child involved with you guys. We do have the Page of Wands. And this could be um, a kid. Either this person's kid or a kid that you guys shared together. Um, there could be a need to compromise on the topic of having children. You know, perhaps one person wants to have another kid or a kid and the other person doesn't. There also could be a compromise here as it pertains to a move or relocation. If you guys are thinking about, you know, having to go somewhere, for some of you it's abroad, uh, maybe to a different country. Others of you, this is just a different city or state. Some of you may be waiting to hear from this person. Some of you may be waiting to hear from some type of authority figure here um, with some results. Something that you're waiting for that, that you're just waiting to come through. But, 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 but so far, I don't see absolutely any signs of unfaithfulness. So let's continue pulling. We have a broken promise here. So this is, okay, let's just pull and then we'll talk about it. We have the other woman. Ooh, my heart dropped, you guys. We have, by the way, I'm leaving. Ah, okay. We have reconciliation. We have guarded. And celebrations and good times. Whew, Lord have mercy. I got to tell you, my heart dropped. But what I see here, you guys, is that a lot of you are dealing with something that has happened in the past. Okay, I feel like there was a broken promise here. And there was another woman. So some of you guys, let's just keep it real. Like there's already been this thing here where the, the, the promise was broken. Um, somebody is or somebody left. You know, for some of you guys, I feel like this is recently like this is very fresh. And there's just this energy of like you guys trying to reconcile and work things through. But somebody here is a little bit guarded. Definitely there's a wall up now, of course, after something like that happens, group two, you're like, I don't know, like, can I even trust you? And I think it's interesting that both of these came out for this group with loyalty and faithfulness, because this is showing that this is who the person is by nature. They're naturally a loyal person. They're naturally a faithful person. And something, yeah, definitely happened here to betray your trust. But I really don't feel like this is happening right now, you guys. This feels like something that happened in the past, which is why we have this energy of reconciliation. If that makes sense, you guys. It's like you're at a time where you can celebrate. You should be having a lot of fun, a lot of good times. But yeah, there's somebody who's incredibly guarded. You know, wall is up. We also have, wow, true love. So group two, you're definitely dealing with your soulmate right now. This is the romance of a lifetime, you guys. This is the partner of a lifetime. 
I'm sorry that that happened to you. Group two. And who knows, for some of you, it could work the other way around. For some of you, you may have been the one to, in fact, you know, have um, someone else here hidden. And there could have been some loyalty issues. Whatever that was, this truly feels like the past. Or, or now, but like recently. Like this is something you already know about. We have present power showing up. Intuition and manifestation. Goddess of the moon. Yeah, you guys. So your intuition is on point. It's probably your intuition that led you to believe that there was something happening in the first place. We also have financial constraints. Mm, okay. A broken heart. And cornucopia. Wow. Um, group two. This goes kind of deep. Like I said earlier, I saw that with the fish. There was a situation um, with finances here. And so there's like, I feel like for you guys, there's somebody here who is actually affluent and has plenty. But then there's someone here who is struggling and you're having a hard time connecting the two. Yes, there's the sadness showing up here, the heartbreak from the broken promises. And you guys, I just want to say I'm not here to deliver bad news. I'm only here to relay, you know, the energy here. Therefore, this group, I really feel like you've already gone through this. And for those of you who haven't gone through something like this, then yes, it's definitely possible that there is something happening behind the scenes here. You know, this is something that might be happening in, in your like right right now or near future. But I think... For me, I always take a look at the big picture, you guys. And I think it's very significant that this reconciliation came through. Because whatever this is, it looks like there's something that you're going to be able to um, heal. You know what I mean? If you guys reach an agreement, you reach a compromise. Because like I said, your person by nature is a faithful and loyal person. So that's something to keep in mind. With that being said, I'm not going to leave you there. We're going to see if there's any guidance here from your angels. Group two. Angels, please come through for group two. What is it that group two needs to know as it pertains to their relationship? What is it that group two needs to know as it pertains to their relationship? All right. You guys have patience coming through. So your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. But what this feels like for this specific reading group too is the fact that you need to have patience with your partner just be patient take the time for any of you who are you know one foot in and one foot out you know perhaps just hold on perhaps perhaps hold on what other messages are coming through here for group two what other messages are coming through here for group two? Ooh. We have angel therapy coming through group two. So Archangel Raphael wants you to know it's okay to release your burdens, your anxieties, your fears, your doubts to the angels. You can give it to them. Allow them to handle it. It's too much pressure on you. If it's weighing too heavily on you. Also group two, you have outdoors. So spirit wants you to go outside. Get some fresh air. If you've been spending too much time inside, on the computer, on your phone, in the bed, get up, get out, do something fun. Just get out. Anything else here for group two? Anything else here for group two here? All right. You have another message coming through and that. That's to breathe, my friend. Even I felt the need to breathe just now. So Archangel Raphael wants you to take several deep breaths, exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So you guys are really freaking out right now. And Archangel Raphael wants you to just relax. Take a little bit of a chill pill. It's all good. 
All right, group two, that does conclude your reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, can you consider giving it a thumbs up as it really does help my channel to grow. Also, you guys, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I do post new pick a card readings every week and I do Zodiac energy readings every month. I love you guys. I wish you guys nothing but happiness within this relationship. Focus on the light, you guys. Really, really try to focus on the good times that you have. I'm sure with this group that the good times far outweigh the bad times. People are human. People do make mistakes, but it does not define them as a person. Remember what defines this person by nature is their loyalty and their faithfulness. All right. I love you guys. Be blessed. And I'll talk to you in a different video. Ciao. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. So you guys, I'm not here to waste your time. Let's go ahead and get right into it. You're here for a very specific reason, and that's to find out whether or not your partner is being faithful to you. With that being said, you guys, I do want to say, please, guys, if you're not, you know, already suspicious that this person is, you know, faithful to you, um, don't watch this video. Like if your relationship is good, don't even bother. This reading is really for those who have a gut feeling about something being off. And this is the message that spirit wants to convey to them. Okay. Also, I am going to pull some um, identifying energy here so that we can identify this person. This won't be applicable to everybody, but what comes out here will be applicable to those who really, really, really need to hear this message. <laughs> All right. Group three, who is this person? all right we're gonna take a look at the charms first we do have a music note coming through here you guys so some of you guys are asking about someone who's a musician or someone who writes music plays music loves music something with music okay we also have the feathers showing up here so this is someone who is <clears throat> incredibly respected in their career whatever that is there's like some high honor here and we have the elephant so there's somebody here you guys are asking about that could be a little bit heavy in size this person could also just be kind of an old soul very wise also very protective group three initials what do we have here we have the letter y the letter h and the letter G. So that's coming through here. As far as personality traits, or just, you know, any descriptive terms here, we have tall. So this person could be tall. Oh, there's another initial. Also the letter E. <laughs> we have crazy coming through here so some people may call this person crazy we have dominant i was feeling that with that um elephant stubborn okay we have integrity coming through here so that's important for this person they do have a sense of integrity We have cooperative coming through here. So even though they're dominant and probably like to be in control, they are also cooperative. They're also able to listen to your viewpoint, what you have to say, how you feel, all that stuff. Ooh, we have cruel coming through here. Not cruel. Don't be cruel. That's coming through here very strongly for somebody. If you think your person is, you know, cruel and mean. We have short hair. We have dark skin and we have brave. Wow. Interesting group three. Remember, remember, remember these terms um, and adjectives do not describe everybody here, everyone who you're thinking about, but it is something to keep in mind for those of you who it does. It's just like a, you know, an additional confirmation, so to speak. All right, let's go ahead and get started with your reading group three. Let's get this out of the way for you. Uh, no, we'll put it up there. All right, group three. 
is this person faithful to me so this first card you guys represents i was hoping for a direct yes or no answer but sometimes spirit has other ways so we're going to see what this is is this person faithful to me we have remain positive okay so that's a start let's check your story we have the ace of wands The Ace of Swords, <clears throat> the Queen of Swords, the Sun, it's a lot of fire here, the Emperor, absolutely, and the Ace of Cups, interesting. All right, you guys, so right away, let's talk Zodiac signs. I do see an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. We also have an Aries specifically, but it could also be any fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have water, so it is possible for a water to be showing up here. Cancer Leos, I mean Cancer Leos. Oh wow, okay, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So what's going on here, group three? I definitely see a lot of fire, okay? So it does feel like this person is definitely somebody who, yeah. This person is not afraid to speak their mind. Group three, especially between the queen of swords and the emperor showing up here, it's like this person knows who he or she is. This person can, in fact, be a little bit, you know, domineering. This person may have some control issues or somebody here. It doesn't have to be this person you're asking about. This could be you as well. But as we're just looking at these cards and the dynamic of this relationship, I see the love. Okay. I definitely see the love. I see that you guys really care about each other. You showed up here strong as a couple. And it looks like there's truth and honesty with this Ace of Swords. So, so far, I do not see any signs of deceit, deception. You know, everything looks pretty out in the open, especially with the sun here. It looks like everything is fully illuminated. So let's continue. We have the hand. Travel time. Amused and unbothered. I definitely, definitely see music very strongly here for you guys because for some reason, and I see this card all the time, I saw a piano here. <laughs> okay, so for some of you, your person may play the piano, but also just this, you know, music vibe. Um, we have balance. We have excited anticipation. Ooh. Okay, group three, and playing games. All right, so that's what this is about. Ain't nothing going on, group three. Ain't nothing going on. Yeah, your person is a little crazy. The person may like to be in control a little bit, but this is a good guy or this is a good woman. It's like this person really cares about you, but there is somebody here who's feeling a little bit rejected. There's somebody here who's feeling like they're being told no to something. For some of you, it could have to do with um, a baby. You know, maybe bringing a child into this world and there's like there's something here that somebody really wants and the other person is kind of not taking it so seriously. They're like, huh, yeah, whatever. Maybe, maybe not, but probably maybe not. That's the vibe that's coming through here. It does look like a really amazing relationship, you guys. There is an equilibrium, a lot of balance, a lot of harmony within this relationship. Um some of you i see are just feeling yeah like you're being told no to something i don't know what this is um for some of you it may have to do with travel plans for others of you it could have to do with like either moving in with each other um some of you could have to do with um playing games this is just like not really um stepping up to the plate kind of a thing so some of you may feel like your person is not as committed as you would like them to be. Not in the sense that they're being unfaithful, but I don't know, just kind of like step it up. You know what I mean? So I'm getting that vibe. I'm getting that vibe. But everything looks good. Everything looks nice. 
Um, let's keep going. We have healing family issues, group three. So this could be happening with you guys. Maybe some of you guys have experienced something painful within your family and you're working through these things. Maybe some of you, yeah, you already have children and you're working on healing certain things here. We have the honeymoon coming through here. So enjoy the time, you guys. Enjoy the good times. These are really good times right now. We also have finances and career. So yeah, that could be an issue here. Maybe you guys are experiencing some financial, um, you know, troubling times, something like that. Or there could just be a really strong focus on your finances and career. Whatever it is, it's, it's, it is showing up here for a reason. And you are being encouraged to remain positive about that situation. Also coming through is discovery. Your higher self. Courage, deserving, happy success, and new beginnings. So there's definitely a baby coming for a lot of you guys. Those of you who are pregnant, I want to say congratulations. There's a beautiful new life that's brewing right now, and I wish you so much happiness with this new baby coming. Others of you, this baby is not an actual I mean, this beginning is not a baby, but it just represents a new beginning within your relationship. It's like a fresh new start. And not only that, but it's going to be amazing. There's like a lot of wonderful energy here with this relationship. It's definitely a divine partnership. We have all tied up showing through. Angel of love. And the garden in the gate. Yeah, so there's definitely this feeling somebody wants a little bit more um, control. I feel like there's like a little bit of a um, power play with this group here. Okay, it's like somebody wants a little bit more freedom. It's like somebody's feeling stuck. Somebody's feeling trapped, refined, restricted. Not refined, but yeah, restricted, confined. And just feeling like there's something that they want to do or explore and they're being told like no you can't do that no mm -mm, no but it's like but i really want to go i really want to do this i really want to go i really want to do this no mm -mm. and so of course that makes you feel small that makes you feel just not good but you are dealing with an emperor there is an emperor here this is someone who has a lot of rules someone who wants to be in control someone who wants to run the show you know what I'm saying? And this person is just not really taking what you want as seriously as you. So that's frustrating. But as far as faithfulness, nah, there's nothing here that even shows a little bit that this person is unfaithful. This person is very faithful to you, at least for right now. There is a sense that somebody's playing games, but whatever. You know what I mean? Life goes on. This person is faithful. Good for you, group three. What we're going to do now is take a look at any messages from your angel. Your angels, group three. Angels, please come through here for group three. What is it that you want group three to know at this time? All right, group three, your angels, especially Archangel Jeremiel, wants you to know that the worst is behind you. Group three, everything that you've gone through in the past is in the past. Let it stay there because you guys are moving on to the next level. You are, in fact, growing within your relationship and just leave the past behind you. It's done. It's over. The worst is behind you. Things can only get better from here. Any other message for group three? Is there any other message here for my group three? Okay, you got something else. Yes, it's a brilliant idea from Archangel Uriel. Your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So group three, if there's something that you wanna do that you're being told you can't do or you shouldn't do, do it anyway. Just do it anyway. It's a brilliant idea. And yeah, Archangel Uriel is already like, you already know what to do. You already know. You know what's up. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Do it. 
Anything else here for group three? Nope, that's it. Wonderful. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. This does conclude your reading, group three. I hope it resonated. I hope it made sense. If it did, please consider giving it a thumbs up as it really does help my channel to grow. Also consider subscribing if you are new here. I do post new pick a card readings every week and I do new zodiac energy readings every month. I love you guys. Remember to remain positive. Your person is definitely faithful to you. There's nothing to worry about. Do whatever it is that you want to do that you're being told you can't do. And then keep it pushing. Okay? Love you. Be blessed. And I'll talk to you in a different video. Deuces. Hi, group four. Welcome to your reading. All right, you guys. I'm not here to waste your time. You're here for a very specific reason. And that's to discover whether or not your current partner is being faithful to you. So I do want to say something, you guys. I do want to say if your relationship is already in good shape, if you guys are doing well and there's no reason for you to believe that this person is unfaithful to you, please don't watch this video. It's not for you. This video is really for people who have a strong suspicion that their partner is either cheating or just doing something behind their back and they just want more clarity on that. So that's who this reading is for. Furthermore, group four, in order to identify this person you're asking about, we're going to pull some other things here. <clears throat> We're going to see some potential initials, um, characteristic, um, I mean, character traits and personality traits and um, physical attributes as well. So, group four, who is this person? Okay, what can you tell us about this person? Group four, what can you tell us about this person? Group four. All right. Let's quickly describe this person. Obviously, you guys, this will not describe everybody here whom you're asking for. But what comes through here is what's, you know, <clears throat> either for the majority of you guys or for those who really, really need to hear this message. All right, let's do initials. We have the letter B. We have the letter I. We have the letter P. We have the letter M. We have the letter V. We have the letter U. Um, and we have the letter R. Okay, so those are potential initials, first name, middle name, last name, or just anything significant to this person, maybe even nickname, you know what I mean? So personality traits and just things like that. We do have the peace sign, wonderful. This is someone who's quite peaceful by nature, you guys. This person believes in world peace, harmony, all that good stuff. We also have, what is this, the Eiffel Tower. So this is someone who maybe has a really strong love for Paris or France. Maybe this person is European. Um, maybe this person is actually from Paris, France. Um, something like that. Or this person just has a love for travel also. All right, let's take a look at some descriptions. We have goofy showing up here, group four. So your person may be goofy. This person may have a sense of humor. This person could also like the Disney character, goofy. We have protecting. So your person is a protective person. There's a, some impatience coming through that your partner may have. And what else is here? We have loving. So this person is very kind. Caring, compassionate. Uh, we have petty. So you may find that this person may say petty things, do petty things. Maybe this person is kind of tit for tat. You know what I'm saying? If you say something, they're going to say something right back. Something like that. For some of you, this person could be skinny. We have bronze skin coming through here. <clears throat> we have bald obviously this won't be for everybody but that's significant for somebody here your person may be bald or perhaps balding there could even be perhaps a receding hairline something like that we have black hair and blonde hair 
So for some of you, there could be a mix between black and blonde hair. For some of you, it's just black. For others of you, it's just blonde. For others of you, it's none of the above. But that showed up for a reason. All right, you guys, let's keep that in mind and just up there. So group four. Is my person faithful to me? Let's take a look and see. Okay, so these first two cards. Oh, it's three cards. All right, group four. These first three cards, when I was shuffling this deck, I was um, asking the question, is he or she faithful? You know, right now. So let's take a look. We have it's up to you. All right. We have a year from now. And not the right time. Interesting. Obviously, that didn't directly answer that specific question. But hey, spirit has other plans. We're going to roll with it. We're going to keep it here and see how that um, is effective, how that comes into play for your story. All right, group four, let's take a look here. Is my person faithful? Let's see. What do we have? First card out we have is death. Ooh, how beautiful is that? So a lot of you guys, you're actually... <clears throat> Dealing with someone who you've had um, perhaps a breakup with in the past. Oops, sorry. This could also be a Scorpio, you guys. We have the Nine of Swords coming out. The High Priestess. And the Four of Wands. So from this group here, you guys... I definitely see the stress. I see the worry, the anxiety, the fear here of there being another woman. We do have the high priestess, which oftentimes do um, which, or which oftentimes does recognize, not recognize. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> this person oftentimes is someone who, um, you know, could implement possibly another woman implement indicate goodness i cannot get it together today you guys i'm sorry <laughs> but let's keep going that doesn't mean that there is someone else what's your story we have the guy next door showing up so this is a good guy or a good girl we have the other child interesting we have friends with benefits we have luxury and the finer things we have dying love and mixed signals. So this is the vibe that's um, currently existing within this relationship at this time. Things aren't really clear with this group, okay? There is this energy of, you know, you guys not being what you used to be. You may feel like friends with benefits. Sometimes you, you feel like there aren't even any benefits. Others of you, there could be some financial benefits. Sorry for that. And that could be why you're staying with this person, even though the love is dying. This is a good person, but I also see here there's a child involved here for some of you guys. Um, for some of you, okay, there is a child here. There could be a child from a different person. For others of you, this could be the energy of feeling like you're taking care of a child. If your person is in fact not um, financially secure then you could feel like you're having to take care of the other child if you're the one with the, you know, the money and the financial security. Um, but with that being said, I don't see another woman here in this section. Let's keep going. We have separation. Forgiving and learning. Religious factors. And new love. Interesting. Group four. So it is possible that this relationship is just, you know, approaching a separation. Could be permanent. Could be temporary. But there is this energy for those of you who um, you've never broken up before. There is this energy of something um, ending, coming to a completion here. We have behind a mask, fragmented energy, 
the loving man. Attachment. Door to spirit. The thinking man. And appreciation. Interesting. Hmm. Group four. What an interesting group this is. So, you guys, it does appear that there is something that is being hidden here. Something that's not all the way um, obvious or illuminated. But... You know what? I'm going to ask for some clarification on this behind a mask. Let's see if there's anything that spirit will tell us regarding this energy here. What's being hidden from group four, spirit? What's being hidden here from group four? Okay, first card out is the queen of swords. So this is actually a woman. This is actually a person here. This is an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but this is just the energy of, of a woman, but it could also be a man. This is a person. What's being hidden here from group four? What's being hidden here from group four? We also have the chariot. Hmm. Let me get some more here. Some of you are dealing with someone who takes a lot of um, business trips here. It's like this person is always gone. We have the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Feels like a whole family is involved. We have the Page of Swords. Yeah, so the Page of Swords to me, you guys, represents truth. Honesty. Also, this is a page, so it could be a kid. And I think we had that other child card show up here. And the Ten of Swords. Anything else for group four? What's being hidden? What's being hidden? And then another page. So what's being hidden from you guys is possibly a child and the child's mother. It could be a whole baby mama or baby daddy here that you don't know about. There's also, yeah, there's some paranoia showing up here. So, yeah. Also, we have temperance. So there could be a Sagittarius involved. But, yeah. Okay. So for some of you, there could actually be two kids here. There's like this family, okay? We have the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Swords. So it feels like this person could even be married, group four, and you don't know about it. Maybe this person is married and is um, telling you that they're going to separate from their wife. This could be quite a complicated situation. Hmm. Yeah, there's some ending here, group four. We have the Ten of Swords. So there's some sense of ending. There's some sense of um, deceit, betrayal, something happening behind your back that you can't you know, fully see. So that did show up here and there is still an attachment here to something or someone. And in this case, I feel like it's someone. So this person might be binded. Did we have that other? Give me a second here, please. I'm sorry. It gets a little crazy over here. It does get a little crazy. So, all right. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, separation. So you guys, yes, this person is showing up here as being a good person, a loving person, a good guy, right? The guy next door. However, yes, there is something that this person is hiding from you. And yes, it does look like um, a marriage and children. Does it mean that he's in love with his wife or that she's in love with her husband, but there is something here, okay? And the situation does require some forgiving.
there's something that somebody is thinking about saying or doing. Let's see if we can get some clarity on that. What is this person thinking about? For some of you, this person is thinking about a separation from their significant other. We have the Four of Swords as a clarifying card for the thinking man. That's just more thinking. So this is a serious contemplation. Also, the Four of Swords can represent a separation because it's not like a final, it's not like a divorce. But it is the sense of break. So some of you feel like you're already in, like this is you in this relationship. Some of you feel like you're the friend with benefits. And that's why these mixed signals are showing up here. Hmm. What else is showing up here for group four? Anything? What is this person thinking about here? Mm, that's the moon. So he's thinking about this secret and whether or not he should tell you what the secret is, what's being hidden. Because I don't feel like this person has bad intentions, but they are hidden. You know what I mean? So there, it's not fully clear. All right, group four. That's the vibe here. So, you know, is this person being faithful to me? Not 100%, okay? Not 100%. Not 100%. With that being said, so, okay, let's go back to these because they did come up for a reason. So, basically, we have not the right time. So, I feel like right now this person is not available, actually. And, you know, possibly this person will be available a year from now when things are finalized. And we have up to you. So the situation is up to you whether or not you want to continue seeing this person, even given these um, circumstances. I feel like that's the message. Let's take a look here and see if your angels have any messages for you. Let me get these back one second. All right, you guys. Sorry, I'm just taking back the cards that I used in the other readings from the angel deck. All right. Group four. Angels, please be here now for group four. What message do you have for group four at this time? All right, we have passion. So you're being encouraged to trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and or career, group four. Interesting. Yeah, this is definitely someone you really care about. The passion is here. The intimacy is here. But yes, there is something that's being hidden. And your intuition was absolutely right about it, group four. Doesn't mean this is a bad person or that this person has bad intentions. Um, group four, another card coming through for you is compassion. So you're being asked to have a soft heart. For everybody, group four, for yourself, for your partner here, you're being asked to have a sense of um, understanding and care. Whoa. You're also being asked to go outside. You've probably been spending too much time indoors. You're being asked to go outside, get some fresh air, connect with spirit. Okay. Anything else for group four? Three. Okay, that's all. Oh, that's complicated situation, group four. Wow. That does conclude your reading. If this resonated, um, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do post new pick a card readings every week and new zodiac energy readings every month. I love you guys. Be blessed. You can work things out here. Do what you need to do. It's up to you. It's totally up to you. All right. Talk to you guys in a different video. Ciao. Hi, group five, welcome to your reading. So you guys, I know exactly how valuable and precious your time is and I'm not here to waste it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. You're here because you wanna know what, whether or not your partner is being faithful to you. And what I do wanna say about this, you guys, is that please, 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 if your relationship is in good shape, 
there's no reason to suspect anything from your partner, then this is not the video for you. Honestly, this video is for those who have a strong suspicion or intuition or something that something's not right within their relationship. And um, these readings are either to serve as confirmation that their intuition is right or that their intuition is wrong. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? Um, actually, before we get into that group five, we're going to take a look here. We're going to try to describe this person that you're asking about. And this will confirm whether or not this is the right reading for you. Whoa, okay. Group five. Who is this person that you're asking about? Who is this person group five? All right, we're going to describe this person a little bit. Not everything I say here will resonate with your person, you guys. Some things will, some things won't. Just keep that in mind. So let's start with some initials. We have the letter U. We have the letter T. We have the letter O. <clears throat> and we have the letter E. Um, okay, so for charms... I see here that this person can be really into music for some of you guys, maybe a musician. Um, some of you guys are asking about somebody here who is quite independent, maybe who really loves cats. Maybe this person is very spiritual. Some of you are asking about someone who may um, be affluent with their finances or could even be struggling with their finances, but somehow um, finances are a little bit of a factor. Also, we have the fish. So this could be a Pisces that you're asking about. Um, also I'm seeing here, we have the four leaf clover, we have the butterfly. So some of you guys are asking about an ex actually, someone who you've already ended things with and now you're, um, you're back together. Some of you are asking, oh, beautiful. Okay. So this is someone who, for some of you guys, this person can be quite an outdoor person, someone who loves nature, plants, trees. We also have the bike. So this could be someone here who actually rides a bike a lot. This could be someone here who owns a motorcycle. This could be someone here who uses public transportation system. Or this could just be someone here who enjoys travel. So let's go ahead, you guys, and take a look at some of these <clears throat> descriptions. We have slim coming through. Slim and slender. We have plump coming through. So plump is actually like the opposite of slim. It's like, you know, plump. Like, um, you guys know what plump is. Plump could be as far as the body size or shape. It could also have to do with like some physical attributes. They could have plump breasts. They could have a plump booty. They could have plump lips. You know what I mean? So that's plump. We have protecting. This person might be a very protective person. Um, could even work in the... Uh, I'd say protective industry, so maybe in law enforcement for some of you guys. Some type of guard, bodyguard, something like that. We have sexy coming through here. So this is someone who is quite attractive, someone that you find very sexy, but could also just be a really sexy person. We have disloyal coming through here. So some of you guys have already experienced some disloyalty with this person, which is interesting. For some of you, this person may have a disloyal nature to them. And we also have white, gray, white or gray hair coming through. So, so for some of you guys, this could be someone who's significantly older than you. For others of you, this could just be like a, um, you know, an older person here, or just someone who plays with their hair color and has white or gray hair. So obviously, not everything. Oh, is there another one? There's another one. Let's see what this one is as well. You can And we have light skin coming through here. So if this person is African-American, then they have light skin. Even if this person is not black, you guys, this person just has light skin. Not for everybody here. But these were the ones um, to just really confirm that, yes, you need to listen to this message. All right, group five. Oops, sorry about that. Let's take a look here at your message. Is my person faithful to me? So these first, what is this, three cards? These first three cards, you guys, when I was shuffling, I had that intention in mind. I was asking, you know, spirit, is this person faithful to me? So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the answer is. We have the situation will improve. 
No need to worry. Nice. And ask your angels. <laughs> All right. So we didn't get a direct yes or no answer, but that's okay. We're going to dig through the story here and see what we see. But we will keep these tips in mind. It's already a good start. Okay. No need to worry. So let's see what's going on here. Group five is my person faithful. <laughs> First out, we have the Knight of Cups. So yeah, there's a lot of water energy coming through here. A lot of you guys are dealing with the uh, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. This is someone who's very sweet, kind, compassionate, very loving, very charming, and very attractive. We have the Seven of Swords coming up next here. So I definitely understand why you guys are watching this video. There has been some um, sneaky behavior, some things that seem a little bit underhanded. Wow, we have the King of Cups, so more water, more water. This one is an older water sign, you guys. And there's the white and gray hair, interesting. So, okay, let's keep going. We have the Ten of Cups. The Seven of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles, so there's an Earth sign coming through. This could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. All right, group five. So far, yes, I do see a little bit of sneaky, underhanded behavior, but I don't see any signs of um, there being another woman or another man. Well, I take that back because we actually do have two knights showing up, which is interesting. And... For some of you, give me a second here, give me a second. For some of you, there's like actually a whole family involved with the situation. There could be children. There could be a marriage here. And so I definitely feel that, especially with this King of Cups, this guy is married. So I do see three people. I also see a lot of opposition. It's like a fight here with this relationship. It's like you guys try to be in your own space, in your own bubble, in your own world. But there's definitely some kind of opposing factor or energy that's coming against you guys. Hmm. Let's keep pulling, see what we have here. We have round and round we go. Okay. Holding on. Interesting. One sided. We have the man child. Loyalty. And situationship. Very interesting, group five. Okay, so it's a complicated situation with this group. It's a complicated situation. It's definitely complicated. It is one-sided, which means that um, somebody is not fully present in this relationship. I feel like there's someone who's not really available in this relationship. But it's like you're still holding on, either you or your partner here, group five. But it's kind of like you already know about a situation that's what it feels like. It feels like it's something you already know about and that it's something that just continues to perpetuate. Something that continues to just go on and on and on. Now, what's interesting to me is that we do have some signs of immaturity here with the man-child. This could be a man-child, a woman-child. Somebody here is a little bit immature. Somebody here could, in fact, have some commitment issues. And loyalty showed up. But loyalty showed up next to situationship. So it's like, it's complicated. Okay. 
What's going on here with this group? Hmm. Somebody could be holding on to someone from their past, group five. Somebody could be holding on to what was or to their marriage. For those of you who are dealing, sorry about that. For those of you who are dealing with someone who has a family, perhaps you, group five, are the one you are married. But with that being said, I don't see... Um, I don't see any real deception, you know what I mean? Because the Seven of Swords can often represent cheating, lying, stealing, things like that. But it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it in the traditional sense. Like it just feels like a complicated situation where there probably is um Give me a second. I want to actually confirm or clarify this situation ship energy showing up here. What can you tell us about the situation ship here? It definitely doesn't feel fair, obviously, because we do have that things are one sided. So it's like there is someone here who. Perhaps there is someone here who is loyal. And then there's someone here who is immature. But let's see. Can you confirm, clarify the situation ship here? Why is it so complicated? Why is it so complicated here for group five? What is the situation ship? Okay, we have the three of wands. So yeah, you guys, I hate to say it, but I mean, it is what it is. For a lot of you guys, there probably is someone, a third party here involved. Is there anything else that you want to tell me? Then we have the two of cups. You guys are showing up as quite a strong couple, though. Like there's a strong bond here. Is this person faithful? Some of you guys, yeah, you're dealing with someone who is married. Others of you are the one who is married or in a very serious relationship. And your partner is, you know, yeah, there it is. We have the three of cups. So it is what it is, you guys. Your intuition brought you here to this reading for a reason. There's definitely um, some third party here. That's showing up and in the way. However, you are being asked not to worry about it. And you are being told that the situation will improve. But let's keep going. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. And let's just see what's, what's up. Next out is you deserve love. So you deserve true love, group five. You deserve to be treated like the queen or king that you are. You don't deserve to be... Um, you know, second best or even an option. We have past life relationship coming through here. So this is definitely a soulmate relationship. You've known this person before. You've experienced lifetimes together. Some of you, you've had a past life relationship in this lifetime as in you've been with this person before. Um, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So some of you guys have been dealing with this situation for a long time. It's just like, here we go again. Here we go again. Hmm. We have kindred partnership. That's that two of cups energy we saw earlier. We have the woman holding a coin. Somehow finances are a factor here, you guys. Because between the nine of pentacles and the woman holding a coin, there's like, there's a lot of affluence here in this group. There's like somebody's got it all together and then somebody else is just like struggling. 
Also coming through is Healer of the Ages. Angel of Balance. Happy Family. Man, that's the Ten of Cups here, Group 5. So yeah, definitely a marriage and a family involved with for the majority of you. And then we have the Third Eye Chakra reversed. So for some of you, this was something that you had a feeling about, but you weren't sure. And perhaps you're now seeing things a little bit more clearly. Yeah, you guys. So that's the situation here. And it is what it is, but don't worry. You got to do what you got to do for you. So obviously, this is a general reading, you guys. Please don't make any, um, you know, decisions just based off of this reading. If you'd like, you can, you know, order a personal reading from me. And I can look specifically into your situation and give you some really clear guidance here. But this is just, yeah, something to get you started. What we're going to do now, group five, is take a look at a message from your angels and see if there's anything that they want you to know at this time. Angels, do you have a message for my group five? Okay. You have a message from Archangel Metatron, who is encouraging you to prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. He's saying he's going to help you get organized and motivated. But what I see here, group five, is that you need to know that you're a trophy. You're something that should be, you're someone who should be respected. Treat it like the queen or king that you are. So prioritize yourself, group five. Prioritize your needs. Yeah, exactly. Take back your power, group five. Take back your power. That's exactly what was said here with free yourself. Take back control of your life. Get off of this wheel if you don't want to be on it anymore. Group five. Angels, are there any other messages here for my group five? Are there any other messages here for my group five? Okay, you have a couple more messages. You have passion. So you're being encouraged to trust and follow your renewed sense of passion in your love life or career. But I feel like this has to do with your career. Because some of you guys are really on fire right now as it pertains to your career and finances. So keep going, baby girl or baby boy. It's like you're on the right track. So just keep doing that. Ooh, it's a good one. And remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Don't you forget it, group five. Don't you forget who you are. Don't you forget what you deserve. Okay, so that was the message that came through here for you guys. I hope it resonated. I hope it made sense. If it did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It does help my channel to grow. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I do post new pick a card readings every single week and new zodiac readings every month. I love you guys. Be blessed. Remember, there's no need to worry. Everything's going to be okay. You will get through this and the situation will improve. But you have to love yourself first and foremost. You have to look after you. Okay? Love you. Be blessed. Talk to you later. Deuces. Hi, group six. Welcome to your reading. So you guys are here for a very specific reason. You want to know whether or not your partner is being faithful to you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, actually, I do have a little thing to say here. I just want to say for those of you who are in a happy relationship and you have nothing to worry about, like your partner is not giving you any signs of, you know, deception or anything like that, sneaky behavior, this reading is not for you. You know, this reading is for really for those who already have a strong, good feeling about something, already have some type of suspicion about something. This is the reading for these people. With that being said, let's go ahead and identify your person. Let's see. Tell us a little bit about this person. Let me tell us about this person. All right. 
Group six, let's start with some initials. We have the letter H, the letter O, the letter M. I'm hearing Muhammad right now for some reason. Um, the letter A, the letter V, the letter J, Jeremiah, the letter P, the letter R. Okay, those are all the initials. Um, so this is someone here, you guys, who has a lot of access to certain things. This person is very resourceful. This person may be on the go quite a lot. It seems like they are really busy, either always working or just... Um, it seems like they're always on the go working and that's what it feels like let's take a look at some of the attributes here let's see if we can describe this person we have dime piece coming through here so this person is really attractive i mean like a 10 and if this person isn't attractive physically then this person is a 10 a 10 with what they do for a living like their career they're like top notch um Wow, we have faithful coming through here. So by nature, group six, this person is a faithful person. This is someone who is really trustworthy. <laughs> best sex of your life, group six. So some of you may have experienced the best sex of your life with this person. Ooh la la. Okay. We have spots coming through here, and I also just saw sports for some reason. So for some of you, this person may play sports or be a really big sports fan. But with spots, you guys, this is just like this person may have a significant birthmark, maybe even a scar or something like that. This person could have spots on their face or on their body. This could be like freckles or even moles, anything like that. Maybe even a skin condition for some of you. We have olive skin coming through as a complexion. We have dishonest coming through here. So this person may have a tendency to um, lie or to, you know, uh, what do they say when you bend the truth, omit the truth or something like that. Like when you're, this person may be a little bit sneaky. We have wild coming through here. Wild spirit, wild at heart. We have some dominance coming through. So this person may like to be in control, group six. Wow, we have the money coming through here. So yeah, this is definitely someone who has a really solid, stable career. This person is pretty well off financially. This person could even make a lot of money for some of you guys. <clears throat> if not, then money could be a factor here. Either this person makes a lot of money or is like dead broke. Um, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Okay, so this usually comes through when someone is not beautiful or attractive in the eyes of society. But this is someone who you are in fact attracted to. But there's like, it feels like there's something a little bit different about this person for some of you guys. Like there's something that makes this person stand out in some type of way. Um, we have overweight. So for some of you guys, this person is heavy. Uh, big okay um, obviously not for everybody but yeah Ooh, we have cruel coming through here uh, don't be cruel that's never good and ooh, and rude <laughs> so this is an interesting person this person might even be a little bit conceited if they are doing well financially or with their career we have cruel, rude, dishonest, and dominant. Those are the shadow attributes for you guys. But as light attributes, we do have faithful and dime peace. So we're going to keep these in mind. Best sex ever. Interesting. All right. So let's keep it pushing. Group six. Is he or she faithful to me? So you guys, when I started with this reading, when I do 
when I shuffled these cards, that's exactly what the question was. Is this person faithful? So let's see um, what the answer is. All right, first out we have is no. We have perfect timing. And if you believe, interesting. All right, these are like little tips here. We're going to keep this aside and see how this plays out in the reading, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. We have the Knight of Wands coming through, group six. So some of you are dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it's also just someone who's incredibly um, passionate about life, about their career. We have the Queen of Cups coming through. So this is a water sign. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Six of Swords coming through. The Two of Pentacles. And the Five of Cups. All right, so I definitely see right now in your relationship, there is some um, sadness here, some disappointment. You may be feeling disappointed in your partner because it feels like this person is really busy. It feels like you're not his or her priority and like your second best. It feels like their career, finances and, you know, material possessions are more of a priority than you. And it also feels like you're kind of just being tugged along. It's like this person is kind of just um, like pulling you along. But it's like you don't have much input. It feels like you don't have much input in this relationship. There could also be a discussion going on for some of you with regards to a travel or like a move or relocation. Some of you have been through a lot with this person in the past and you're just trying to get to better times. But you're still being let down. But so far, I don't see any signs of there being another person, a third party. So let's continue. We have the thinking man showing up. We have the side chick. Ooh la la. We have a miscarriage. We have an identity crisis. We have connected and our love is a roller coaster. Hmm. All right, you guys. So you guys have definitely been through a lot of ups and downs. There's something about this relationship that's quite all over the place. It's like you love hard and you hate hard. This is like I hate you, but I love you type of a relationship. Things have not gone according to plan. Some of you have experienced things together, such as a miscarriage, like an actual miscarriage. Some of you have just experienced the energy of things not going the way that they were planned. Um, it does look like here, guys. This person that you're um, dealing with may be going through some sort of a crisis, a personal crisis, could be an identity crisis, could be a midlife crisis, a quarter life crisis, um, menopause. I don't know. There's like something here that this person is struggling with. Could even be their sexuality for some of you here. And so it does look like. I'm going to clarify the side chick here because sometimes you guys, oftentimes actually, when the side chick shows up, she shows up because she feels like she's not being seen. She feels like she's not being heard. She feels like she's on the sidelines. She feels like she's second best, all of that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and clarify her energy. Who or what is this side chick here? Who or what is this side chick? We have the Ten of Cups showing up here. So for some of you, um, you might... There, there is a side chick here and there is a marriage for some of you guys. Or just a really serious relationship. Can you clarify the side chick energy please? Yeah, there she is. All right, it's the high priestess, you guys. And then the emperor. Anything else here? Anything else here? 
for group six. Then we have the King of Cups coming through. So again, a water sign here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And the Nine of Wands. So this person is actually stressing out that you're going to find out. There's a little bit of paranoia showing up here. Like this person is constantly checking their phone. They may be deleting the messages and stuff. There's like, they feel like they have to constantly watch their back. And that's because your intuition is right, group six. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but, you know, we do have the high priestess showing up here. And she represents, she represents hidden knowledge. She represents secrecy, okay? And specifically for this type of reading, especially to clarify the side chick, you guys, she does in fact represent an actual side chick or the other woman or the other man you know what i mean there's like someone being hidden from you group six we also have an aries showing up here this is also just the husband archetype or a father archetype or a boss Whew. all right Okay. All right, you guys. So let's keep going here. We have let go of control issues. So there is someone here who does have some control issues, especially with the emperor here. Could be you, could be your partner. We have getting to know each other. So some of you guys may not, some of you guys may be the side chick group six, okay? You may be the side chick and not even know it because this person could have a whole wife or a whole husband, you know, a whole family. We have the healing light coming through. Travel. I felt that a little bit earlier with the six of swords. So there could be some travel plans, you guys. This is also just a bag being packed. So some of you may just be thinking about, you know, dipping out. But then there's the world. Some of you may be traveling the world with this person. Or making plans to travel the world. Some type of international trip. Some of you are dealing with someone who is always traveling. And a lot of this kind of activity may be going on during quote unquote business trips. We have the door to romance. Yeah. The door to value. Yeah. Yeah. So work and play, business and pleasure. We have storm morning and then journey. Yeah, you guys. Ooh, group six, my beautiful group six. Be prepared, beautiful, because something may happen here. Something may erupt and catch you a little bit off guard things may get a little crazy but it does look like um a lot of you are already at this point where you're ready to go and you just kind of are looking for that final closure or that final thing But some of you feel like you depend on this person, perhaps for money. So there could be some fear, you know, what am I going to do? But man, if you're being treated unfairly, group six, it's not a good situation for you. And I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to reflect back the energy that comes through. But you're definitely not second best and you definitely don't deserve to be treated like second best. You deserve first place. With that being said, I'm not just going to leave you guys hanging here. We're going to pull some guidance here from your um, angels. So is my partner faithful? Currently, group six, the answer is no. This person is not really faithful. Oh. Okay, first card coming through is Indigo and Crystal Children. So there could even be children involved. But as a message from Archangel Metatron, you're being told that you have a bond with children, Group 6, and that you can actually help children who are sensitive, maybe even children who have special needs. 
it's just like a little message coming through here for you whoa all right you have four messages we have chakra clearing from archangel metatron who wants you to call upon him to help with your chakras you're getting sent a hello from heaven so for those of you who have had someone recently pass away or um or pass away at any time this could also just be a hello from your angels and spirit guides group six but it says your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel their loving blessings you have spiritual understanding i'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths so you guys are embarking upon a very spiritual journey at this time be open to it and you also have gifts from god so from archangel sandophon we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms to receive so there's something quite beautiful that's in store for you group six try to focus on that at this time and just be open to receiving something beautiful group six that does conclude your reading i hope it made sense and that it resonated if it did please consider giving it a thumbs up as it really helps my channel to grow um if you're new here consider subscribing i post new pick a card readings every week and i do new zodiac energetic readings every month i love you guys i'm not here to tell you what to do you got this I know you do. I love you. I wish you all of the luck, blessings, and love that life has to offer you. Be blessed. Cheers.